Welcome back. Now, Dave Fisher is here. Now, Dave, you're actually a snowbird, yes, which a snowbird. Uh, must be a good life. Uh, yes. But you're from here in the region. You spend your winters in Florida, and that's where you collect your materials to make some pretty amazing art, if you take a look here. So, why don't you tell us, Dave, what did you bring here? What are these beautiful works of art? Right. Well, they're, they're basically pine needle baskets. You just take a I collect these pine needles down in Florida. Mm -hmm. You see they're rather long. Yes, that here's, is very long. Here's an example of the pine needles we get back in Pennsylvania here. Okay. They're a little shorter. Okay, let's see if we can show the difference yeah. here. So you need, you need the, uh, the longer pine needles. This is Pennsylvania. Yes. This is in Florida. So yeah. why do they grow so much longer? It's just a different type of pine tree. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. And, and basically you just take and, and start out Here's a, a basket I'm making here. The Steeler. The Steeler basket. Mm -hmm. I'm actually making this one and this one for my church. I'm going to donate them to our church back here. They're oh. having a, a basket auction on November 17th, Christ and I Miss Church in Tyrone. <laughs> and I'm going to donate these once I get them finished. But you can see, now here's a finished product. Mm -hmm. This I made for my granddaughter. Penn State. Penn State. She's a Penn State nut. It is a beautiful yeah. basket, and this right. is all this is all made with pine needles. pine needles. You have some here. You you told me you made this one for your wife. Right. Right. This is made out of pine needles and grass. Yes. I harvest this uh, grass down in Florida, also around the mediums. You just mm -hmm. snip it off and dry it, and okay. make some long ones or so. And that makes the different what, colors. Right. Here's one I'm using for the uh, the grass. It is beautiful. Uh, okay, so you, can you show us kind of how you go about it? Real? Is there one that you well, can show us? Yeah, basically, you just you have a needle and thread, mm -hmm. and, you, and you go around, and you have to find the stitch back here, go through the side, not the front, mm -hmm. and just pull it over and, and pull it tight, okay. like that. How and, long and does it take to make one? It, anywhere from <laughs> six to eight weeks mm -hmm. are different different styles, mm -hmm. uh, different stitches you use. Yeah, I mean, it is it, it gorgeous. Makes a stitch. With the different like, um, thread, too. Right, it's just a, a number 10 crochet thread. And then uh, some of this is a vase I made. It actually has a, oh, a glass in the middle. There you is can a put, glass, You okay. can put cut flowers in it. <gasps> that is gorgeous. And there's this, this is my patriotic basket I made with the uh, Delivery bell in the center. Oh my goodness, this is incredible. So, folks at home, it's I'm sure they're seeing this. It's also oh, reversible yeah. has a back to it. So, folks at home are seeing these gorgeous pieces of art. Do you sell them? No. No? <laughs> I, I basically give them away as presents or gifts. Oh. They, they make a lovely wedding gift, you know, put some yes. Hershey's Kisses in there and give them a basket. <gasps> they a, do. With, you know, my granddaughter, it accompanied with a check. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I was wondering, uh, do they break easily? Because I know growing up with pine needles, they have, when, they, when they dry out, they tend to snap. Yeah, they, they do, but uh, once you get out so big, they'll bend right around easily. Okay. The hard part is when you first get started, mm -hmm. like this one, because uh, it's very tight. And, you, and sometimes you soak them in water, mm -hmm. you get them very pliable, and, and then they'll, they'll go around a lot easier. Oh. But they will break in the beginning until you get out to the, to the outside dim dimensions. I see that. A little better. And, and so you all started, you got all started into this all because your brother was doing this. Right. My brother learned first, and he was making baskets, and everybody said, oh, Harry, your things are so lovely. Uh, why don't you teach us how to do it? So he started a class. and and uh, we teach people over the winter down in Florida. Mm -hmm. Now, not everybody that starts finishes because it's uh, a little tedious. It's hard on the fingers. Yeah. I've got a big callus on my finger. Oh, really? How long have you yeah. been doing this? I've been doing it a year and a half. A year and a yeah, half. And great. one could take six to eight weeks? Yes, it, it depends on how fast you work. You get distracted and doing other things. But if you, if you stay to it, because like this basket here, it was like a I think 150 or 160 stitches around the outside, wow. and it uh, takes a while to get around. That is incredible. Thank you so much, Dave, for coming on the show today. Yes. Beautiful work here. All right. Central PA Live is over for today, but don't worry. we got the news before 5 coming up next.